Hello everybody. Today's video is another in response to a viewer's question. And it's possibly one I get asked more than any other. And it's how do you paint skies? Well, I'll run through one of my methods and I'll do my best to explain it as I go. Okay, I'm just gonna wet the paper all over with a mister. You can see it's quite wet. The water's just sitting on the top. I'll go straight into that with a bit of raw sienna. Just going to keep everything loose, just let it flow and move about the paper. There's just some across the bottom there, that's just for a bit of land later on. A bit of magenta into that. Again, there'll be no hard edges, just allow the paint to move about the paper. Just some ultra and some cobalt, touch of magenta. Just a bit of burnt sienna into that, just to grey it off. And hopefully it's have a look of a, kind of a, like a rain cloud or a passing storm cloud. But no reference photo for this, just making it up as I go. Okay, gonna soften up that bottom edge there. Just allow it all to run down. Hopefully that'll look like rain or maybe snow, something like that in the distance. It's come down a little bit too far now, I think, so I might just blot out some of that where the horizon line's gonna be. I want some light to shine through. Just dry that off quickly. Okay, that's fully dry now. Just gonna re-wet that slightly along the horizon line, just using a small mister. I've got some ultramarine there and just a touch of uh, viridian. And it makes quite a nice turquoise. Another quick spray on that. Just want that to kind of melt and blend. A touch more viridian there. I think it's probably going to be kind of like something like a distant tree line, something like that. Just add a bit of magenta to that, just to make it purpley. Okay, bring that a bit closer, so maybe a slight definition outline of a tree. Just 
just keep this very simple really I mean it's, it's just a bit of land just to give the sky some context and a bit more on the mister just to soften that I'm just putting a very simple field, I think. Maybe just a touch of raw sienna and the, just what's left over in the palette. Just slightly bring this wash down I think just slightly change the color as I go just for a bit of variation I need to be slightly darker in the foreground just to give a bit of perspective Touch of cadmium red into that. Might just darken the base of that tree line there. And just a touch of shadow as well. lines in a field for a touch of texture. Okay, I think I'll dry that again. Okay, it's all looking a bit basic, so I think I'll probably just add some texture right in the foreground. Maybe suggest a few grasses and shrubs and whatnot and I think I'll probably put some birds up in the sky maybe some geese something like that and this is nothing really just a few sort of lines dots dashes a few marks and then I'll go back in with a sprayer just to soften that a touch it's just some burnt sienna Indian yellow Touch a cobalt to that. So we'll drag some of that up just so it looks a bit more like grass. Also adds a sense of depth, a bit of scale, and perspective. So 
So some thicker paint there just to add some more texture. Just a bit of dark as well, that's mainly burnt sienna and ultramarine. scratch a few grasses as well the corner of a plastic card not too much of that keep it simple okay now on to the birds just put a few geese across the sky there. And it's basically just dots, lines, dashes, but trying to keep to the shape of a skein of geese. There's no need to paint wings and beaks and feathers, I mean they're in the distance, so just keep it really simple. Again, it's nothing really but dots and dashes. And then barely touching the paper with that, just bouncing it up and down very lightly. to the edge of the page. about the shape really it's not like I said not trying to paint individual birds little V shapes or anything like that I think I'll add a few highlights to that as well just to just some white straight out the tube Again, very simple, just just a few. You don't need to put highlight on each dot. Okay, that'll do for that. And I'll just soften a few of those just with the edge of my finger. Okay, and that's the finished painting. I 
Well, I hope you got something from that. So please give it a thumbs up, like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You can let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like me to cover in another video. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next week.